You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Randall Newsom here with your WMAR 2 News update. Well, one firefighter is hurt while trying to put out a large fire in Canton. This happened overnight on Hudson Street, a few blocks north of O'Donnell Square Park. Firefighters got there around 3 this morning. They say flames could be seen from one rooftop and then quickly jumped to the rooftops of other nearby row homes. Officials say eight homes caught fire in all. One firefighter was treated for a minor injury and then taken to the hospital. No one else was injured in this. The cause of the fire is under investigation. Well, the Baltimore County Animal Shelter is asking the public for help. It recently took in 101 animals from a hoarding situation in Essex, including dogs, guinea pigs, parakeets, and fish. They're looking for foster homes or adopters right now. Well, a man known around Baltimore for his electric moves on the dance floor is trying to make sure people know his name all over the world. Quincy Mims, a.k.a. King Q, has been on the Baltimore dance scene for years. He's been crowned king of Baltimore, and even though he's confident in what he can do, he's always paying homage to the Baltimore club legends that came before him, and that goes for the ones who are still around and the ones who can't be here to get their flowers. That's Aunt Kay. That's Aunt Kay Swift. This is a legend. She's not even here no more. Her music still brings life into the city. That right there is a mark you want to meet. Now, King Q says one of his big goals right now is to compete at the World of Dance competition and bring some of that notoriety and spotlight back to Baltimore. Well, on rainy days or when it's too hot to be outside, there's a museum in Howard County where kids are encouraged to touch everything. It's called the Doodle Hatch Interactive Art Museum, located in the former Safeway at the Long Reach Village Center in Columbia. It's where a kid's imagination can run just wild, from jumping on a bed made for a giant to being inside Space Command or cooking in a witch's kitchen. Doodle Hatch is the brainchild of Lee Anderson, who wanted to create a place that inspires creativity minds to go wild, we want them to explore, we want them to role play, we want them to physically not be on their phone. Now it's $10 for admission and kids can play there all day long. We have more information on how to get tickets, plus their summer hours over at WMR2news.com. All right, Stevie, there's a great day to uh, play indoors today. <laughs> Absolutely. So today we climb into the mid 90s, but tomorrow we're really going to be feeling the intense heat and humidity. We climb near 100 degrees, definitely going to have a very good shot of breaking the old record high of 99 that was set back in the 1950s. But with this added heat and also humidity, we have a cold front that's going to be sliding through, generating some showers and thunderstorms, some of which could be on the stronger side, mostly holding off towards the evening, possibly containing damaging winds, large hail, even an isolated tornado, all fair game. But then as we progress into the later parts of this week, Thursday, throughout the second half of the day into Friday, we lower our temperatures, we decrease the humidity. It's going to feel more pleasant out there than we're back in the 90s this weekend. Randall. Thank you, Stevie. All right, guys, stay up to date on the top stories of the day by going to WMAR2news.com. And for news and weather while you're on the go, make sure you download our app. Thanks for watching. I'm Randall Newsom.